Hi, I'm State Representative Glenn Anderson, representing the 5th Legislative District, which is Issaquah, Sammamish, Snoqualmie Valley, Maple Valley, parts of Renton and Kent. We are now two-thirds of the way through the legislative session. Last week, we got the most current revenue forecast for the state, and unfortunately, it was not, as anticipated, good news. We were about $800 million short of additional revenues that the state was expecting. This makes the budget deficit situation the state is in even worse. I've come to the conclusion in sitting through and listening to the debate here on this floor that we're not really focused on the right problem. We are focused on the budget deficit and that is absolutely essential to take care of but the first thing we need to take care of is creating private sector jobs. To that end, I have introduced three pieces of legislation in this session that I think will dramatically move us forward. One, a reform of our higher education system. Within existing funds, we need to reduce the cost of going to college and university to get the education people need to get the jobs that provide them a family wage, be able to support themselves, and to be able to support their communities. Two, we need to reform our port system. We live in a global economy. All across the world, people are moving goods and services around. Our ports are limited to county only. We need to merge the ports of Tacoma, Seattle, and Everett and make them a really dynamic and robust force in the world economy. We can do that. It has been proven that international trade, and Washington State in particular, being dependent on international trade, uh, should do this. Third, and perhaps more controversially, I've proposed eliminating the state's business and occupation tax and all exemptions. That tax is based on the gross revenues that companies receive. That means before they can hire anybody, train anybody, and put them to work, they have to pay their taxes to the state. To replace that, I'm proposing a flat rate 7% corporate income tax. That would require a vote of the people this November, and if it was approved, would go into effect at the end of 2012. Flat rate taxes like this for our business community would provide predictability, fairness, transparency, and be less costly to administer, and over the long term, generate more money than our current system does today. It has been well proven that low taxes over a broad base with limited budgets, not in deficit, create economic prosperity. We need to embrace these changes. We need to get smarter, we need to participate in the global economy, and we need a business tax system that encourages the creation of jobs, not penalizing employers for hiring people. These are big lifts. Right now here in Olympia, what we're focused on is who do we hurt the most? What we should be focused on is who are we going to help, and that should be all Washingtonians. Again, I'm Glenn Anderson, and I look forward to hearing your feedback and your thoughts because it is the most important thing I listen to when I'm voting down here in Olympia. Thank you, and I look forward to hearing from you.